Okay, I'm 4 mkl here. This is a brief tutorial on the disassembly of the HP Pavilion 15-CC561ST laptop. Uh, there are several videos out there that describe the disassembly of the uh, previous models, but this one's a little bit trickier and uh, different than the other models, so I thought I'd post a video on how to handle this newer model. As with most laptops, the disassembly occurs from the back. The trick to this is, it's very simple, I'm not going to actually disassemble it uh, right now. Instead I'm just going to show you how to do so since I've already done it. Uh, start by just taking out these three screws here. I was able to do this using a small a Phillips head screwdriver. If I recall correctly it was a 40 millimeter Phillips head screwdriver. The trick to it is that you have to take off the rubber feet on the back of the, the computer and take out these um, Phillips head screws. So you'll be removing a total of five screws, two in the back of the computer and one in the front. Get that one off there as such. Once you take these five screws off uh, using a small a flathead screwdriver, again one from a miniature set. Uh, I use a pretty small one myself, a 1.6 by 40 millimeter. And you want to undo all of these uh, tabs, prying it loose, kind of like you would the trim of an automobile. Uh, take your time and do them one at a time so you don't break any of them. Uh, you can see where I uh, had some score marks where I uh, kind of dinged it myself, so um, that might be unavoidable. Then, after taking all the, uh, taking, uh, popping it off all the way around, you should have enough to, uh, it should come off pretty easily. And that'll give you very easy access to the hard drive and the memory uh, slots, so those can be upgraded or replaced as you see fit. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll respond as quickly as I can. In the meantime, I hope this helps and hopes it saves you a few more headaches than I had. Um, what I did was I was trying to pry the, this all up with these two screws in place. And as a result, I managed to uh, have a very difficult time, but once these screws came out, it was much easier. Uh, this is KM4 and KL. Uh, thank you for watching.